everybody, this is Skyler here again. We are back at Disney's Animal Kingdom. There's this big tree. The Tree of Life. That's the Tree of Life. And they have to show inside there the Tough to Be a Bug 3D show with this no lighting or videotaping. I love that tree that marks the entrance of Imokina. Okay, we're going to Dino Land USA. Okay, we're going to the primeval world. Here we go! Here we go, Stephanie's first time. Here we go, I'm gonna hold on tight. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! 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 And this here. Whoa! I love that. Whoa! I saved your bus. Here we go! Big drop! Whoa! Oh no, here comes a big drop! Whoa! Oh. oh no, we're gonna be spinning! Whoa, we're spinning! We're spinning and spinning! Whoa! That was an awesome ride. Time's up. Guys, find me where finding the world was awesome. Okay, we're going to dinosaur. exhibits in the old way. <laughs> That's how dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago. Today that bare bones approach is about to become extinct. In a perfect blending of science and technology, the Dino Institute has created the Time Rover, an amazing vehicle that will literally transport you to the age of the dinosaurs. How? That's right. But the result 
is a breathtaking journey through a prehistoric world where you will witness the most spectacular creatures to ever walk the earth. In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me, let's talk about you, and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tours are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in, use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the Iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? Hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going on this special mission. Don't tell me. that the lights are on. There we go. Yeah. Woo! The ride is back on. Woo! All right, the ride may start it. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get down before that asteroid hits. Let's roll. Okay. Now, let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Alright, done with dinosaur. It was a really great ride. Okay, we're going to Expedition Everest.
Hey babe. Jen, you dropped something. You dropped something. What team do you like? What team do you like in football? We're on a maze to exhibition effort. What's your favorite football team? Steelers. What like nuts? Expedition Everest. It's the wild and the wild in the What?
doing that lion nest. Leona. Leona spent most of the day resting, up to 20 hours of it. We've actually also got some white rhinos over here on our right as well. Now they're not actually white, they get the name from the mistranslation of the African word bite, meaning wine, not white, because they have white set mouths. These lions will do most of their hunting at night with their vision is about six times greater than ours. We've got two females and there's actually a male all the way up there on the left. Much harder to see though. You can zoom on it. You can just see it. And if you're hungry after our adventure, you can stop by Harambe Marketplace or Tusco. They're both ready to have a look On behalf of myself and everyone here at the reserve, we'd like to say thank you for joining us. And do please join us again because no two safaris are the same. This is super awesome. We are back at Pandora, the world of Avatar. Now, this is so cool with the floating mountains. Chamber. You can all see me, so move a little if you can't. Before we send you to the link chamber, let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who runs the program. Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikran and Flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi and in partnership with Alpha Centauri Expeditions, we can now bring this amazing experience to you. The way you'll be able to fly is by linking to an avatar that's already on the back of the Necron. Let's see how this works. We establish a link using powerful psionic amplification equipment. A human driver is connected to an avatar, which could be physically hundreds of kilometers away. When you follow our technician into the link chamber, you'll see a series of 16 link chairs. Please go to the number that matches the number you're standing on now. First, stow your gear in the storage containers on the back wall. This should include all bags, cameras, and other items, including cell phones. It's important to push them all the way into the bin. Then get onto the chair as you would a bike. Straddle the seat, step forward, and sit down. Slide your hips forward until you are against the chest pad, and then move your feet all the way forward. Wait until you're seated before you put on your flight visors. Hold on to the hand grips as shown. It's important to hold on to the hand grips at all times. After you're seated, back and leg restraints will be firmly engaged. For your safety, throughout this entire experience, always remain seated and supervise your children. Once the link takes place, you will be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ikra. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sibak Hope, rise to the challenge. Good luck. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's get you into the link chamber. All right, Shalos, you're about to be restrained at a height above the ground and the floor will move. If you're prone to motion sickness or have a fear of heights and wish to opt out, please let me know. Otherwise, you will follow me in. Back or follow behind. Number two. Attention drivers, stow your gear on the back wall and then get onto the link chair the way we showed you in the video. Then put on your flight visors. For your safety, throughout this entire experience, remain seated, lean forward, holding onto the hand grips, and supervise your children. Para su seguridad, durante toda esta experiencia deberán permanecer sentados. Inclinarse hacia adelante agarrando las bases. Thank you. 
Okay, we're going to the boat ride. This looks pretty beautiful at night. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for today from Disney's Animal Kingdom. We had a lot of fun there with Stephanie and my brother and such. So stay tuned because we're gonna enjoy an awesome Christmas Eve at Epcot. This is gonna be super awesome. So if you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in loop up to date on future videos on our trip as well as uploads on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know you care. Take it a step further and ring that notification bell. Keeps you notified in the loop. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, like, comment, goodbye, and the vlog is over. Goodbye.